Happy Sentinels Tuesday. My God, is it hot today. So I've got the window open. We'll have to deal with background noise and traffic and so forth, but that's beside the point. Today, we're taking a look at a classic DC hero, the Blue Beetle. He was another deck created by Johnny Guitar Watson and Rev Kev. He's available on Adelpha Phage's archives. He's got a bunch of variants. He's been around almost as long as Booster Gold, and I don't know why I haven't gotten to him before now. That's not meant as any kind of slight against the deck. I've played him before. I really like him. Our challenge today is choke point in Rook City because I have to do Rook City eventually, so I might as well use it on the easiest villain. I've played choke point in Rook City before. It's kind of fun. Backing up Blue Beetle, we have Pyre back because his last fight didn't go so well, so we'll see if he can redeem himself. Young Legacy because Letters Page and First Response Vanish. Let's hope I can get through this without dying of heat stroke. Choke points. Harvest the Mighty. Deals the hero character card with the most cards and play four energy damage. I guess it'll be legacy. Yeah, no cards, so she doesn't get to steal anything. And then she hits the highest for three. That's Pyre. Off to great start. All right, so Blue Beetle is kind of a jammer and a board controller, but that being said, we're going to start with Way of the Bug, which is his cool combat ongoing. First time each turn when damage dealt to Blue Beetle is reduced to zero or less, Blue Beetle may deal a target to melee damage. Really cool effect since he's got some decent defensive cards. His base power is Inventive Mind, draw a card or play a card. We'll use the power on this, he deals a target three melee damage, he will punch Joe Point. I don't expect this fight to go on very long, we shall see. Draw a card. We'll start with a Gamma Burst. Select up to two non-tapped cards in a player's hand. Tap those cards till they leave that player's hand. Player deals that hero and each non-hero target X energy damage, where X is the number of cards tapped this way. We'll go with Legacy. We'll tap a lead from the front and, hmm, Legacy Ring or Thok. I'm probably going to play that Thok, so we'll tap the Legacy Ring. So he hits her, and he hits Choke Points. Wants to draw a card. I think actually Pyre does, so he will draw a card and tap it. Ooh, it's the good one. And draw a card. Legacy starts by thocking. Then laser eyes. We've done all kinds of damage. Draw a card. I think we're going to start with Flash Recon. Alright, so I Flash Reconned into a Flash Recon. We're going to use that. Both Pyre and Blue Beetle have really good cards on top of their deck. I think I'm going to start with Pyre. He gets a Cherenkov Drive. End of your turn, one player may select a non-tapped card in their hand. Tap that card until it leaves their hand. They may use a power on that card. If that power destroys that card, discard it instead. That's really cool. All right, and then her power is Intercept. Reduce the next damage that would be dealt to a hero target by two. Not bad, except, well, there's actually no point in using it because I know what the next card is, and it's not hitting choke point. Falling Statuary, second lowest, takes three irreducible. That's Pyre, so that power was wasted. All right, Airful Grasp. Choke point deals each hero target any play area with no equipment cards, three psychic damage. That's everybody but Pyre. And then she steals his Cherenkov Drive. I shouldn't have done that. Oops, she hits Blue Beetle for three. Okay, that was dumb. Defensive Backflip. This is the one that will combo really well with Way of the Bug. This card in play, draw two cards. Whenever Blue Beetle would be dealt damage, you may discard any number of cards. For each card discarded this way, reduce that damage by two. A very neat ability. Drains your hand real quick. Go ahead and use Way of the Bug again. That's all we really need to do is burn her down. Containment Breach. Because that was fun. Whenever a player plays a tapped card, increase energy damage dealt by Pyre by one until the end of your turn. Then shuffle a Cascade card from your trash into your deck. I am going to use his power on Blue Beetle. So he draws a card and draw a card. Laser Eyes, draw a card. Need that. I guess I'll play Concussive Burst, although it's not very helpful right now. And then we'll use Intercept, reduce the next damage taken by two. It's not an amazing power, but it is technically better than Mitigate because you're not taking away from her abilities in order to use it. Oh, it's the Ambitious Racketeer. All right, he deals three hero targets, two projectile damage each. Oh, okay. We'll have him hit Blue Beetle first, which uses up the intercept. Damage dealt to him was reduced to zero, so he deals a target two melee damage. Cool. He'll hit Legacy, and he'll hit Vanish. And we've found our combo. Augmented Energy Field. Go figure. I hope there's some ongoing destruction in this team. She hits Pyre for three. Battlefield Analysis. The start of your turn, destroy this card. When this card is destroyed, select up to three targets, increase damage dealt to those targets by one until the start of your next turn. Very helpful. And then he will bug on choke point for two and draw a card. Chromodynamics. Whenever a player plays a tapped card, player deals a target one energy damage, and it becomes two energy damage because of containment breach. And it could in fact become more if multiple people play them in a round. We will go ahead and give Vanish a card draw and draw a card. Okay, Danger Sense. That'll be nice. Laser Eyes. Draw a card. Blindside Jump. Hey. Increase damage dealt by Pyre by one. 
for a moment, and he deals a target two energy damage. I'll go ahead and use Blindside Jump, increase damage taken by Choke Point by one, as it's not predicated on her actually dealing damage. She didn't deal the damage though, so Cussed Burst does not go off. Okay, the Racketeer heals, but he's at full. We don't care. Oh, hey, Tony Taurus. Racketeer is going to hit Blue Beetle, who backflips out of the way, and then kicks Choke Point for two. He'll hit Vanish, and he'll hit Legacy, who's immune, and then Tony Taurus does his thing. Yeah, we're going to go with Stripped Resources. Sorry, Tony. And she hits him for four, which doesn't matter, because then she eats all the environment. Gets rid of that Racketeer, at least. Who is the highest? She's doing three damage. He could discard two cards and hit her. I think he'll just take the damage. All right, Battlefield Analysis goes off, increasing damage dealt to her by one more. So now we've actually got a plus one against her. Recon, reveal the top two cards of the villain deck. Discard or replace both cards in any order. For each card discarded this way, you may draw a card. Ooh, yeah, we're discarding that. And that. It's a neat deck control ability because now I don't know what's coming. I've got some cards out of it. He will hit her for, okay, so it's three, four, five, four. Okay, we got a plus one. Bugging her for four. Cellular irradiation. So, this is tapped. Increased energy damage dealt by Pyre by one until the end of his next turn. And he deals a target one, two, three energy damage. It'll be four to her. Oh my god, that's cool. Select a hero. Legacy. They activate each of the following in order if they have at least that many tapped cards in their hand. Use a power. Draw a card. That's exactly what she'll do. Laser eyes for four and draw. If you have three cards... You take two energy damage, but we don't, so that was pretty damn cool. I think we'll go ahead and take advantage of that massive damage increase. He deals himself and each non-hero target one energy damage, so he hits himself for three, and he hits her for three, four, five, four. Worth it. Plus ones go away. I'll keep one over there, but that's fine. Draw a card. This will play next evolution. There for four. I think I will be keeping blindside jump up. Ooh, hey, translocation accelerator. It's equipment, so it's kind of dangerous to play, but here's. All right, so blindside jump. She deals a target one energy damage that will actually get through because of blue beetles plus one. So number one, she dealt a target damage. So reduce damage dealt by it by one. This is the time for that. Number two, she used a power so she can deal a non-hero target one energy damage. And now that second plus one applies. So it's actually two. We're going to tear her apart right quick. Draw. Rook City gives us, ooh, Toxic Sludge. Everybody took five toxic damage pretty much, except for Legacy, of course. Choke Point plays. Strip Resources. Okay, cool. Thanks for getting rid of the Sludge. That was very nice of you. She's only dealing two damage to the highest. That's Legacy. Yeah, this one's going to be over right quick. Well, let's see what he can do. So we're at plus zero against her, which is fine. Yeah, one, two punch. Deals a target two melee damage, and he deals a target two melee damage. And then he hits her for three. All right, Atmosphere Scrubbers. When this card is played, you may use a power. I think we'll go ahead and use his base power on Vanish. And then he'll go ahead and use his Containment Breach himself for one and her for two. We almost done. Motivational Charge. Actually, no. Screw it. I'm going to play a Legacy Ring. So increase damage dealt by a Pyre by one, and he deals a target two damage. That's three to her. And Laser Eyes. She, she dies. That was remarkably quick. <laughs> and I'm not dead. Hooray. Well, I think Pyre was the star of that game, so proof that he does actually work. Blue Beetle, though, is a lot of fun. Getting way the bug out at first, I mean, it kind of locked him into a thing. He's not usually a combat character. Let's see what else he can do. He's got a BB gun. Deals a target one radiant damage and one sonic damage. At the start of your turn, reduce all damage dealt by that target by one. Flashbang is one I didn't use. It makes him immune to damage until the end of the turn, which could combo with way of the bug, depending on what you hit, because then he deals each non-hero target two radiant damage. Overcharge. Ongoing. This is neat. Play this card next to an equipment card. If that card leaves play, destroy this card. The first time each each turn a power on that card is used, that hero immediately uses it again, and that hero may deal themselves two irreducible lightning damage. If they take no damage this way, destroy this card. Hover pads. At the start of your turn, you may discard a card. If you do, use a power. Given that he has a lot of powers, that's not bad. Its power is reduced the next damage that will be dealt to Blue Beetle by three. Another one that combos well with Way of the Bug. Mark IV Exoskeleton. Play this card next to another hero. At the start of their turn, this hero regains one HP. Once per turn, when this hero would deal damage, they may increase it by one. Cool card. Tinker. Reveal cards on the top of a hero deck until three equipment cards are revealed. Put one of the player into that player's hand and shuffle all other revealed cards back into the deck. There's a copy of the card overcharge in your trash. You may put it into play now. Really cool if you've got overcharge in your trash. Anti-trap gizmo. I was kind of hoping to see one of these, but Rook City was not a big problem this time around. Play this card next to an environment card. When that card would deal damage or cause the environment to deal damage, redirect that damage to a target of your choice, then destroy this card and the card next to it. I love it. It's a little beetle with a mirror in it, and he's diverting some lasers. 
bug goggles gives them the power reveal the top card of each hero deck then replace or discard each card one player may draw a card beetle grappler play this card next to a target then discard three cards or destroy this card the next time a card from that deck would enter play discard it instead and destroy this card nice tracking beacon Oops. when a non-hero target enters play reduce damage dealt by that target by one until the start of your next turn power is draw three cards destroy this card and that's your lot so a little short of a game that's actually kind of a nice change since they've been you know taking over an hour lately hopefully everyone will check the blue beetle out he will definitely come back because he's got a couple of variants as always tabletop simulator the reavers sentinels and cauldron dlc and of delphi phages archives are not licensed greater than games products please support the official release and flip Fortitude. Heyo.